Morning light and buzzer came on at 55 psi. The track passed the test. Protection valve test. The protection valve should pop out approximately 40 psi. I will pump my service brake again. Okay, both pop out. My protection valves popped out at 40 psi. They are working properly. But I want to let you know sometimes one of them pop out, one of them doesn't pop out. What should we do? For example, trailer protection valve pop out. When we pump service brake, just trailer protection valve pop out, but tractor protection valve doesn't pop out. We have to say, examiner, my trailer protection valve popped out at X PSI. I will continue. After that, we pump again until tractor protection valve pop out. After that, we stop, say, examiner, my tractor protection valve popped out at Y PSI. They are working properly. When finished, we have to say, I will do my second safety start. We did it before. Check, tractor, trailer, protection valve pop out, latch, natural, turn key on, wait, start the ABS light came on and off right now we start our in cab inspection my seat belt is securely mounted working properly the belt is not cut frame I don't do that because I want to explain you I want to be free my seat belt is securely mounted working properly the belt is not cut free. I have three reflective three angles. I have a spare fuses. My fire extinguisher is secure, fully charged, up to date. My oil pressure gauge is normal. The warning light is off. My temperature gauge is normal. The warning light is off. My Voltmeter is charging. My left turn signal is working. My right turn signal is working. My four way flasher is working. My high beam indicator is working. After that, heater is working. We point it. My defroster is working. Turn off. My city horn is working. My air horn is working. Because of air. It's not after the air is air governor cut out, it works because of air. City horn is working, my air horn is working. The Viper is securely mounted, not damaged, working smoothly. The windshield washer, windshield washer is working. The windshield, window glass, mirrors are securely mounted, not cut, cracked, chipped, damaged. There are no sticker or things that block my vision. They are clean. The mirror are adjusted for me. After that, the last one, we should check tractor, trailer, and service brake check. The first one is tractor brake. For tractor, trailer, service brake. First, clutch, gear. This is the first step, clutch gear. To check my tractor brake, I release my 
trailer brake leave the tractor brake on and try the truck forward so slowly release clutch not release fast until it shakes yes clutch completely neutral pop out release clutch explain what is the explain the truck didn't move so my tractor brake is working if tractor brake is working properly the truck don't move doesn't move the second one trailer brake check clutch gear to check my trailer brake i release my tractor brake and leave the trailer brake on again so slowly clutch neutral pop out release clutch explain the truck didn't move so my trailer brake is working properly if trailer brake is working properly the truck doesn't move just shake the last one service brake check again clutch gear to check my service brake i release both tractor and trailer brake take my hands off from a steer wheel and move the truck forward five to ten feet after that clutch brake neutral pop out explain i go five to ten feet brake clutch completely neutral tractor trailer pop out release clutch and explain the truck didn't turn left or right so my service brake is working properly uh, I hope you enjoy the video good luck